guys welcome back to my channel for those of you visiting for the first time please comment like and subscribe for those of you returning thank you very much for the love and support what a journey the sun is out summer's around the corner countdown is on i hope y'all <laughs> kind of not like i am because girl i am tired i am waiting i'm hoping we have a, a regular summer hopefully fingers still crossed it's still too early to tell things could change i mean i'm just looking for a bit of normality to apply that to my life however hope you guys are doing well hope you guys are healthy safe and yeah let's just hope that things get back to normal in this world so let's get right into it as my title said bags i've sold and do i have any regrets <laughs> let me take a sip of this one honey all right i'm gonna put that glass down and i'm gonna come get jump right into it with you guys today um i chose to stand today i don't know why but <laughs> yeah i feel like standing today okay so let's get right into it this bag that i'm about to talk to you guys about is been a bag like like I think everybody's dream bag um for those that buy her meds i mean this color when i when i first saw it i was like this is the best green ever like there's no green that could top it so i was lucky enough to have a birkin 25 bamboo which was my ever first birkin 25 uh, it was pre-loved of course it was not brand new from the hermes store i got it pre-loved on the second resale market um so someone rehomed it to me and it was amazing and it was my birkin 25 in the bamboo with silver hardware so when i got this bag i was so excited with it i used to wear it everywhere i used to love it it came so you know structured and by the time i finished with it it was sagging all over the place and i just felt like rehoming her the same way i got it from someone else so i was like you know what i I applied for another Birkin 25, which was my Birkin 25 in black. So when I applied for it, I was like, once I get the okay of it, I'm definitely going to sell it. So one year passed, haven't heard anything from Hermes. Two years passed, haven't heard anything from your Hermes. Long story short, got rid of it in order to acquire more funds towards my Birkin bag. And now I have the huge regret because it's like whenever i see someone unbox a new one or i see someone with one um on instagram or wherever i'm like i actually had that bag and i'm like why did i sell it so i'm like even if i apply for one what are what are the odds of me actually getting one so bittersweet but hey gotta keep it moving bag number two is my kelly 28 in the epsom color plank flamingo and insert a picture here so you guys can see like this bag i really loved it at the time that i got it i remember me and my best friend kayla went to pick it up i was excited for it um that was actually my first kelly cellier cellier tongue twister forgive me and i was excited with it and then absolutely it was a difficult color to combine for me so i mean now seeing that hermes is bringing back all the pinks and staying it's like hmm should i actually have gotten rid of it because now it's like oh i should have never gotten rid of it so for me personally it's like why do i do this to myself like so i made up my mind that i don't think i will be selling any more of my hermes pieces anymore um i mean it just really annoys me so yeah would I actually go back and get a, a pink Birkin or a Kelly? Hmm, I don't know. Maybe I can put in for it, see what happens. I don't know. But definitely something that I regret selling. So, so far you have two regrets from the two bags that I've mentioned. And it happens to both be Hermes pieces. And let's move on to bag number three. Which is my Alma Epi in the black leather with silver. Um... I have no regrets selling this bag because um, when I first bought it, it was like matte. It was like amazing, like matte and the epi leather lines, amazing. Like loved it to base. It was a Valentine gift to myself. And within time using it, using it, it starts to get a bit shiny, um, especially with the handles. And then like scratches start appearing everywhere. And 
I just completely fell out, out of love with the bag so I actually rehomed it and sold it um to a company that buys bags um and I actually sold a couple of pieces at once and I think I acquired the cash so I can go on and continue to build my collection so that's just something I want to discuss with you guys as well like most of my bags if I actually do follow a love with it I actually resell it so I can acquire cash to get something new um, I usually do that with trend pieces not my iconic pieces or pieces that you know are here to stay so you won't catch me selling a Chanel classic flap over my dead body girl um, yeah so after that i also sold the antigona um Givenchy antigona in the very large size in gray um yeah i fell out of love with that bag because it was just so big at the time and it was heavy and i scratched it all over um the handle was peeling it was one mess with the bag i think i just happened to get a bad batch so i just got rid of her got rid of her i'm like girl i ain't got the time for this okay next i was like sell her got the coins missing and i purchased another antigona which if i'm not mistaken it was my beige antigona yeah so got that instead after that i have a sack after that i went on to selling another piece which was my sac du jour in the navy because it was kind of like a size up from my sac du jour my croc one it was a size up from that and i decided you know what i think i want to get a size down because the sac du jour sorry like you know started to come a bit heavy um they re remade the sac du jour where the middle pouch in the back could be removed whereas to the old one you couldn't remove it so that was kind of like hmm smart thinking so i was like let me just get that so that's the reason i sold my sac de jour i have no regrets because at the end of the day i sold it to get another one um i don't know if i mentioned with that juventi antigona if i had any regrets i do have a regret selling it because it was like an elephant gray and it's hard to come by a bag that color and now i'm seeing the new version of antigona which i forgot what they call it i think it's antigona soft or something like that correct me if i'm wrong and they have the same elephant gray side it's talking to me but i haven't got my my head around whether should i get it or not because i'm like girl you just sold one to get back one it's like hmm but i, I mean i'm in two minds of actually seeing if i'm actually gonna get this antigona soft um if that's what it's called i think that's what it's called don't quote me on that if it is then hey kudos to me um and yeah i mean after that I sold a Fendi Peekaboo. I just fell out of love with it. I have no regrets there. I mean, I bought it, used it, kind of liked it, and then sold it on. Then I had my Alma Monogram GM. I have a lot of regrets selling this bag. Why? Because I really, 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 as in previous videos I've mentioned, I miss the GM sizes in the Louis Vuitton Alma. Um, I wish they could, as I said, do another year of them just for someone to acquire it brand new would be nice um i it, i see a lot available on the second hand market but the conditions no ma'am it's not the one so for me personally i just feel like you know what it is what it is deal with your losses so definitely that is one bag i have a regret um moving on to the gucci diana um special edition so i don't know if you guys remember there was a time period where gucci took their regular diana bags and they started to add like fabrics um prints creative animals so i had this one with the bugs and the diamonds and the crystals and it was such an amazing bag so i got it for a christmas i think it was and it was amazing until when you actually used the bag it would hook in your clothing it ripped one of my outfits i mean it was horrendous to carry so then it started falling apart the diamonds falling out the bugs lifting the patterns on it lifting it's, it was just a hot mess so i got rid of it and just bought a regular dionysus with none of the special things on it because i just always felt i have it to have one of those so yeah do i have any regrets selling the bag no i do not <laughs> like mari would say you're not the father <laughs> 
All right, moving on. Um, I had a um, LV Alma PM in the um, Epi Leather in the Vernies and a mint green. It was such a unique, lovely color. I fell in love with it at first sight. It was pre-loved as well. It was not brand new, but for some reason, I think the way I put my bags away at that time, a stain came through. A newspaper print. Girl, I was angry, girl. So I tried to get it out a bit. Some of it came out and I was like, nah, this is not the one. So I ended up selling it. I have a lot of regrets selling it because that was like one of the only pastel cute bags that I have and now pastel colors are coming back in. So it would have been great to pop her out this time of the year. I don't even know when I'm going to use it, but yeah, trust me. I'm just waiting for this opening to happen so I can just get my bookings in this thing. So after that bag, um, yeah, I don't have no regrets selling it. But after that one, I have my Bria, um, my Louis Vuitton Bria GM bag in the Epi Leather in white. Um, I actually love that bag so much. But then, as I said, like I started to get in that phase where I'm transferring from bigger bags to smaller bags. But now bigger bags are back in. So it's like, uh, now I might have to buy one or two big bags. But well, I tell you, technically I don't. But I mean... I have a couple big bags to balance that big bag urge so i'm not really fussed about that i'm still into my medium to small to mini bags um definitely next on my list is a kelly 20 i'm after one like crazy i've seen crazy resale prices which i would not be purchasing for that price i will wait patiently until her give me that call miss thing because ain't nobody got time for that so with that being said last but not least my bria louis vuitton elm um, no my louis vuitton bria <laughs> in epi leather white was definitely one of the bags that i have no regret selling i used it i had a great time with it and on to the next so for me the ones that i regret i kind of realized and summarized for myself that you know iconic pieces i should try maybe if i fell out of love with it and i have no use for it i could probably just hold on to it a bit longer before i just make a rational decision to just sell so moving on for me it's like i am definitely gonna look into that more before i start selling stuff like crazy and then having regrets um you know i like the fact that as i said sustainable fashion is what's in right now and you could always restore stuff and see stuff cycling and recycling and circling back around so i'm definitely happy with that and i am just loving all of it that loving all of the fact that you can actually source secondhand or pre-loved stuff um obviously in good condition um i think some of the prices can be a bit ridiculous <laughs> mistake but hey you know what to each their own um with that being said cheers to the weekend hope you guys have a wonderful weekend ahead and uh, a blessed week ahead and yeah let's look forward to this summer and thank you guys for tuning in